Hey, what's up everybody? This is Polio Jr. And now this isn't something I have made shorts, but this is more of the future lineup. And please stay tuned because there are at least one or two Marvel movies that are being released in May that not many people know about. So let's get into it and then we'll get into that. So how's that sound? Okay. So Thor, it probably one of the best uh, movie series ever. So this would be number four. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder released. I hate how they, you know, it takes so damn long for them to release July 8th, 2022. It's like, oh my God. But um, until then, one, we have uh, Hawkeye, which is uh, due to come out in November. And then we have uh, Eternals coming up very soon. In the next, uh, what, like two weeks-ish? Uh, Eternals is coming out November 5th. Uh, and then we have, right after that, Spider-Man No Way Home. And then, on May 6th, now this is an interesting date. May 6th, 2022, Doctor Strange... Was it in the multiverse of madness? Yes. Okay, cool. I got it right. Anyway, before I go any further, let me just say that the director, and uh, forgive me for mispronouncing his name, is uh, Taika uh, Watiti. Now, this guy is the man at uh, directing. He directed Thor Ragnarok, which is probably on my top three favorite movies of all time. Um, he also does the voice of Korg, the guy made of rocks, but he's unbelievable. Absolutely wonderful. And he's also the guy in the new Ryan Reynolds movie where he comes to life as a non-playable character. Anyway, pretty cool. So, now what I want to show you here, um, and I have, you know, vigorously have searched the web any way that I could to find, um, you know, these two. Um, it's either going to be two separate movies or one movie um, together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to bring you directly to what you want to see. Hopefully, I do this right. Now, this has not been edited in any way, shape, or form. I have never, ever seen... Uh, yep. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen, um, you know, this exact image ever. I mean, even since the first Thor, um, leading, leading all the way up to today. So, um, now we have three options here. Uh, May 6th, um... Like I said, the movies will be combined uh, May or May 6th. The movies will be separated and we'll have even more Marvel, you know, catching up for lost time. Or um, we're not going to have anything <laughs> or it's just going to be, you know, nothing. It's just going to be this uh, fantastic artwork done by Marvel and they won't, um, you know, and nothing will happen with it, you know, so Marvel is extremely secretive 
on how they, um, what should we call? You know, they're they're very secretive as far as um, you know creating their movies. They have, you know, they do a lot of things inside of buildings. Not that they don't do them outside, but they have, you know, if they do, if they do sequences outside, there's a huge perimeter, and while they're doing in, things inside, um, you know, obviously nobody can see them, and if anybody leaks anything, uh, they get sued like crazy. So it is not worth it whatsoever. So, but uh, yeah. So May sixth, um, we got a you know we got a whole bunch of movies going on here. So let's see here. Um, okay, let's go to Windows. Let's go to do 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay. Nope, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, but as you can see, we have tons of Marvel movies coming out in 2022. And, like I said before, we have Hawkeye in November, we have Eternals November 5th, we have Spider-Man No Way Home on December 17th, and then I guess it's really not until May when uh, these other movies start taking off, so May 6th. Um, and then July 28th for the new Thor. So, um, yeah, do some research for yourself. Tell me what you, th uh, tell me what you think of these, um, of the new Thor slash Loki movies. You know, who knows? It could be something in the multiverse. I have no, I have no clue anymore. So, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, before I forget, like always, uh, the end of the video. Okay, real quick. Um, if you are not into cryptocurrencies, please get into them. Now, there are two, um, whatever you want to call them, brokerages that I highly recommend and that are extremely easy to use. Uh, the first one being Coinbase. Um, definitely for beginners, extremely easy. It's how I learned. And then I moved on to uh, Crypto.com. And it, now, if I were to only suggest one crypto, it would be Shiba Inu, you know, cute little Japanese dog, but um, the uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, it's the letters for it are S H I B. So, but it's very simple. You can get tons of shares for nothing at all, and perhaps down the line. Um, you could make quite a bit of money. So links will be in the, in the description. So I really hope that you guys, um, you know, have followed my crypto playlist. And I hope you do the same in investing in your future. Um, and this is just me talking to you on a personal level. Because that's the last thing we want to worry about is money. You know, nobody wants to worry about money, especially now when times, you know, are very hard. So, um, all right. I love you all. I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.